Hello everyone and welcome back. This episode is really just about making your Lightroom run a little bit faster and more stable with larger files. Not a whole lot to do with editing itself. This image right here that I edited and put together I believe is from six images taken with my vertical grip at 150 millimeters. This image was, let's see, this was the final outcome of it. This was the size uh, 19,000 by 5,000. So whenever the computer is trying to put it together, if it's the only thing you're doing, it usually runs fine. This is on an i7 2600K with a 1080 super clock. But if you try to do anything else, like have DaVinci Resolve open or Photoshop also open, it really bogs down your computer. So one way you can speed it up without buying a whole new computer is you can go up here, go to edit, go down to preferences, and then you can go to the performance tab. Make sure use GPO for image processing is checked and it reads your graphics card. Then that will help you with larger files, hopefully. Certain techniques seem to be slower for some reason since the last update for this from Adobe. And then you can change your cache settings. I always choose a hard drive I literally have nothing on. So if we go and look right here, go to my computer. Like this is what I have it going to. There's, there's really nothing in this. It's uh, 59 gigs of an SSD that I had laying around. So I put my maximum size at 50 gigabytes and just hit OK and it'll save it. If this 50 gigs gets full of a bunch of junk files after a few weeks, you can just purge your cache and clean it out or just manually go back into the hard drive you have it set to and just delete everything. Another thing I like to do, and if you click OK, you can either click that restart button that was there or exit out of Lightroom, open it back up again to make sure your settings are saved. Probably the worst part is you go and do all this business and you think your Lightroom should be faster and then it just didn't save your settings. And you just go right back into your edit tab, go to preferences. Bring it back up, make sure it's all there, and just click OK and you're fine. Hopefully this was useful for some of you. I know it was for me whenever I first discovered it has helped me a ton. Hopefully it does for you.